I paid $700 for these. Oh no. Absolutely trust my hairstylist with my life. It's finally the day of my headshots. I just got signed with an agency in Phoenix, Arizona for both commercial and theatrical work. And I'm so excited. Long story short, I live in California, but I've been going to the Southwest Actors Conference for the last couple of years. So I've been able to meet agencies in that area. I auditioned and I got signed and, um, now they want me to get new headshots because that's how it goes. You get a new agent and they want new headshots. Although I did already get a callback with the current reel and headshots that I have, but they're the agent, so I'm gonna listen to them. They know what they need in order to pitch me for more work. And both my agencies in San Francisco and in Phoenix are both very commercial heavy markets. So these headshots are going to be commercial heavy, although I also audition a lot for indie work and I would love to audition more for procedurals and in general theatrical work. So I'm gonna sneak some of those in there. So now it starts figuring out my type, figuring out what I'm gonna wear, what my hair is gonna look like, what kind of headshots specifically like inspo images I'm going to provide to the headshot photographer because everybody's gonna have an opinion about my headshots. The photographer, my agents in San Francisco, my agents in Phoenix, me, uh, the internet when I do research and try and get inspirational images. But at this point, I have not booked my headshot session yet um, because I want to make sure my calendar is open. But most importantly, I want to make sure what my type is and what I'm going to be wearing and all of that. So I will schedule my headshot session about a week before I actually do them. My agents are helping me pick out outfits for my headshots. I'm doing three looks and... They want to see if this is going to be one of them. I don't think they're going to like it with this undershirt, but if I don't wear an undershirt, you can see a lot. I get with the vibe that they're going for because they did send me a lot of options that had puffy sleeve and was very feminine. This shirt I think might work as long as I'm photographed like this because if we get any lower, it just gets a little exposed. So I'm going to send them a picture of this one too. I don't like how the pictures are coming out in my bathroom. So I moved into my office. These pictures are going to look so much better with a backdrop. It's not distracting. Not that it really matters because these are just photos of my clothes for my headshots. But still, I don't want to send in like bad photos. <laughs> I'm gonna email these to myself and then edit them into one Canva so that they can see all of the images in one photo versus having to download each image. And I wanna show you what they asked me to send because it was such a good idea. I've, I don't think I've ever had somebody ask me for these type of photos. In the past, I've, I've been asked for wardrobe options, but I usually just put them on and send them options that I think are good. This time, this agency asked me to send pictures of my clothes flat on the ground and so they see all of the colors color pants and length that I have and all of the shirts and the sweaters. So here are pants, shirts. These are like fun, like personality shirts, I would say, like for fun, uh, for like commercial shots. And then all my sweaters and jackets that I have. This is more businessy. And I told them I'm happy to buy more things if you think whatever I have is not right. And the links that they sent me were almost all like puffy shirts, which is why I ended up taking a picture with this shirt because I think at the right angle, it can definitely be used for fun commercial shots. Here are the pictures that I was taking in the bathroom. And then here are the pictures I took in my office with the seamless backdrop. And this is what I sent over for my agents to approve for headshots, which I know they're not gonna like the pink one now that I put it on because I also haven't found the right shirt to wear under it that'll actually make the shirt look good. The white one, I think they'll go for. Today, I am gonna get a haircut in preparation for my headshots and an acting gig that I have next week. And I would not get my haircut this close to a gig or to my headshots if I didn't absolutely trust my hairstylist with my life. <laughs> I just, she's cut my hair, I think, four times now. I'm home and I'm so happy with my trim. Who knows what happened to the audio? I don't know what's going on with my microphone, but when I got home, I saw that there was a package with some of the shirts that I ordered. So here is the blue silky business casual shirt and then a puffy sleeve like doll, baby girl doll shirt that I feel like it's not gonna look good on my body, but I'm gonna try these on anyway and go ahead and send them a photo. I also got these other shirts so that I can get free shipping and I ended up loving the shirts. Not good for my body. This one I like better. The sleeves seem a little bit long, but I like it. I do. 
I finally got the rest of my shirts and I also bought a pair of shoes specifically for being on set. <laughs> I also bought these jeans. I'm still wearing the tag. I didn't want to waste time and I was at Kohl's. I was like, let me look for jeans. And why did I actually find some really nice like straight leg jeans? These were $28 and I bought them specifically to wear on set or during auditions. I just wanted something neutral that was still a little bit stylish and then I'm pretty prone to staining my clothes. So these jeans are also going to be just for auditions at self tapes and I'll probably go buy myself some for personal use because they're really comfortable. I already tried this one on so I can send this picture to my agents to see which one they like. This one though they sent me a link for this and I don't know actually maybe it'll fit. They only had extra extra small extra large 2xl so I'm usually medium large but I'm gonna photograph myself in all of these. I don't have a steamer. I need to go buy a steamer just because it's a bit wrinkly, but I'll make sure to do that if they choose one of these for the headshots. This oh first no. one is a main well blouse, but it just, it looks pretty big. The thing is, if they see this in my headshot and they're like, oh, can you bring that to set? I'm going to say no, because I returned it. It was so big. I mean, obviously I won't tell them that I returned it, but maybe it's not so bad. Those first two were links that they sent me that they were like, okay, can you get exactly these? The third shirt that they sent me was a burnt orange. This looks pretty red on camera, but the third one they sent me was sold out by the time I got to it. So I bought a couple of orange shirts to see if they like it as a replacement. Probably won't. Whatever they don't like, oh no. <laughs> I look like a gift. This is, I don't like it. I think I've had this shirt before in red. <laughs> Oh, and I am currently obsessed with green. Hmm, I wonder if they'll like this or if they'll think it's too dark. Maybe I'll take one picture a little bit closer so they can see the true color. I took pictures with this yellow shirt a couple of days ago because this is the other shirt that my agency asked me to buy. And then I totally forgot that they also wanted me to wear it with this jean jacket. So I took pictures again with the jean jacket. I thought this would be a good outfit for I'm wearing black jeans um I thought this would be a good outfit for the self tape that I need to do anyway like I said I'm currently obsessed with green so I bought this shirt from Nordstrom's Rack by the way a lot of the stuff that I've been talking about is from Nordstrom Rack because my agency sent me links from there and then I started shopping there more and I was like oh there's actually a lot of really good stuff here so I bought this because I'm obsessed with green and it just like it's such a fun vibe it can be so many different things like best friend um it could be mom depending on how you style it like just so many things but I showed it to the photographer and it's just not form-fitting enough it's like too um, baggy to photograph well. So we're not using this, but I love it. I love it. And I, I, you bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to be auditioning with this, sending in self tapes with this. I like it. Thank you photographer for your opinion, but I like it, <laughs> but we're not going to use it for the headshots. Cause at least I'm going to listen for the headshots. They know what they're doing. Good night. I sent the headshot photographer my wardrobe options and they didn't like one of the shirts. They said that this shirt doesn't photograph well usually. So I went shopping again yesterday and this is days before my shoot. Oh, I already planned to go get my hair cut and styled again. I'm actually getting it cut again, even though it's only been about a month because styling it was only $15 less with like the tip added than if I just get it cut again. I'm like, you know what? Might as well do it. My hairstylist is gonna blow out my hair and then I'm going to curl it to get it wavy. So I already have an appointment to get my hair cut and style tomorrow morning and then the headshots a couple hours later. So I went shopping again yesterday and I am sending them pictures of the other options that I got. This is the other shirt that I bought yesterday. I just thought it was a fun pattern and I like that it has color in it, but it's still, like a collared shirt. <sighs> Let's see if they like these. I'm gonna have to go buy a steamer today and I might go to another store and see if there's other options because I'm not quite happy with it because this shirt that he said no to because that fabric doesn't usually photograph well. That one, I see what why my agency approved it because it's like business casual but stylish. And this one is close to that. This one's definitely not. This one gives me like mom vibes or like Pam. <laughs> Pam from the office, which... I don't think is what we're going for. Ugh. I am very happy that I scheduled my hair appointment tomorrow though because one of the stressors, my makeup, it's fine, like this is my face, but one of the stressors of getting my 
headshots done is always my hair like I can get my hair pretty close to what my hairstylist can do but she just makes it look so incredibly good like the product she uses it gives it a good bounce and a good shine so I thought why not just have her do it and then the last wardrobe change I do I will add some waves to it so it's a little bit closer to my natural hair which is this this is just shower and air dry with absolutely no products in it I think we finally have my final looks here are my three looks First off, for commercial and procedurals, because I would love to audition for things like 911, we are doing a this blue shirt that I have so many headshots in. We're gonna add a blazer for those detective looks, just black jeans because you're not gonna see very much of these, and then the loafers. So tech commercials, commercials in general for people at offices, procedurals. For my hair, it's the blowout that my hairstylist is gonna do. My makeup is going to stay the same throughout just the natural makeup that I always wear. I love this shirt because it can be very friendly. Like the color is so bright and vibrant of this shirt that it can be very friendly, but then you throw a little bit of black on and you're like, ooh, is she a detective? Is she mean? The second look is very commercial heavy. And also for those comedies or dramedies, I'm gonna put on this bright, joyful yellow shirt and I'm gonna layer it with a jean jacket, same pants, same shoes. And for the last look, I'm adding these straight leg denim jeans they also asked me to do some headshots with a side part. I haven't had a side part in like five years, but they wanted that because it's more mom. And this is definitely a mom look. These denim jeans with this pink shirt, mom commercials, mom in comedies, mom in TV shows, mom, mom, mom. I really didn't want to do a side part for all of my headshots because that's honestly what they told me. But I said, how about we just do, we do both. Well, I decided we're doing both. And lastly, I gave my headshot photographer these inspirational images to give them an idea of the vibe that I want so they know ahead of time what to prepare for. Let's hope my looks don't change last minute because I am gonna take extra clothes. It's finally the day of my headshots. Ugh, a lot of time and a lot of money, but I hope it's worth it. I am here right outside of the photographer's studio. I might film a tiny, tiny bit of behind the scenes, but for the most part, I'm just gonna concentrate on my headshots because I paid $700 for these, <laughs> plus my hair, plus all the clothes that I had to buy. So I just really wanna concentrate. Here's a clip of my outfits and some of the photo shoot, and now let's see how the pictures turn out. Here is every single shot that we got from beginning to end. Of course, these are not edited yet, but what happens now that I have my headshots is that both my agency in Phoenix and my agency in San Francisco will review them, let me know which ones they like the most, and then I will let the photographer know which ones need to be edited because in this package, I do get three retouched photos. Any additional photos that I want retouched, I have to pay extra for, but honestly, I get all of these unedited ones and I love them. So a lot of them, I'm like, I don't even need them retouched. This package was $700 three outfits and I chose to do three outdoor and one indoor and the photographer is the one that chose like where we were going to go because of course they are familiar with their surroundings it's at their studio this session was about an hour and a half and then I got all of the unedited photos about three to four days after the headshot session so these are my new headshots the next time I get headshots done if you want me to do like a studio tour talk to the photographer ask him questions let me know in the comments if you're a photographer that specializes in actor headshots and want to collaborate on a video where you share some tips let me know let's email let's get to know each other and see if it's a good fit